Paola Subachi is the International Economics Research Director at Chatham House, which co-authored this report. She joins me now. Wow, some pretty broad, sweeping conclusions that you've reached in this very detailed, fascinating report. But I want to start by asking you if there is enough of an understanding amongst policymakers about the scale, the level of interdependencies between countries when it comes to the economy. Well, this is exactly one other thing we advocate, then there should be more understanding. And, uh, and also we advocate to create more tools and, uh, and capacity, analytical capacity for uh, understanding the interdependencies and the linkages. And in fact, the start, starting point of this report is in fact the uh, financial crisis of 2008. Has which anything actually, changed since then? I'm sorry? Has anything changed in the way policy is designed uh, and implemented? Well, actually, the thing we notice then, policy uh, making become more cooperative at the time of crisis. So, so again, immediately after the collapse of Lehman Brothers, countries got together, there was a G20 meeting in uh, Washington, the London summit in 2009, and that really produced some uh, good results. Yeah. Um, but what we advocate is actually cooperation policy making should be the normal practice rather than the exceptional practice. So it shouldn't be only for when we have a big crisis, but it should become the normal practice, something we build up in order to uh, reduce volatility, prevent crisis, and also support in economic growth. Do you see signs that we're going in that direction? From what you're saying, it sounds like there was more coordination and cooperation in the aftermath of the Lehman collapse than there is now. Uh, well, the fact that then, then countries still talk to each other, I think, is a positive sign. Uh, it could be different. And so that is a good starting point. It's important that we have a multilateral forum like the G20. Mm. We have multilateral institutions like the uh, International Monetary Fund. But, but more can be done. And exactly, just picking up on that point, I mean, the immediate thing that comes to mind, monetary policy, just uh, look at the Fed and the ECB, two big central banks, ECB doing, having two completely different policies. Uh, yes, and we don't say then they should have the same policy. Yeah. We're not advocating for one size fits all. Again, domestic policies should reflect domestic priorities, but what we say, domestic policies should take into account the spillover impacts on other countries. And this is really is an important point in order to avoid instability and possibly preventing crisis. And when you talk about the spillover impact on other countries, the thing that comes to my mind is quantitative easing, excess liquidity in the system, impact on emerging markets. Uh, exactly. And there is a, a whole catalogue of issues there. And again, Again, it's, uh, it's uh, the quantitative easing and the impact on the dollar, which is the key reserve currency. So it's not only an issue with the United States, but it's an international issue. We have uh, problems with uh, global imbalances, mm -hmm. and again, United States and China, but also emerging market economies. So there is a whole ramification And of very impact. briefly, do you think there is an acknowledgement that these policies have had this sort of impact? I mean, perhaps from the ECB, we are seeing some of that now as they start to tighten policy, but certainly we haven't heard anything from the Fed that would indicate that they're quantitative easing loose policy has had this sort of effect elsewhere? Well, this is an interesting question. I think there is awareness because we are we know what are the impacts of the, the, the economic policies. What we suggest in the report is to produce a, a policy assessment. So countries should really produce this assessment of their economic policy in, in order to, again, be aware of this kind of spillover effects. Paolo Subachi of Chatham House, thank you so much for coming in. Great to talk thank to you. you.